Changes on the horizon for transportation in Toronto. The Ford government announcing a longer and quicker relief line, but it will come at a cost of around $28.5 billion. Joining me now to answer your questions on the future of transit in Toronto, Transportation Minister Jeff Yurick. Minister, welcome to, to the show and thank you for joining us today. Thanks for having me here. Now, we've got a lot of questions mm -hmm. about the province's newly announced transit plan. We've asked our viewers to pose them directly to you. You've been here with us for a little while answering their questions on live chat on our website. So here's a few of them now. Sure. We've got Candace who's wondering about the future of transit in Scarborough, saying that with the Scarborough RT system being decommissioned by 2026 and the Scarborough subway extension likely to take until 2013, what's going to happen in the middle? What kind of service are Scarborough residents to expect in the meantime? Well, thanks. Uh, that's, that's a great question for Candace. And, you know, we're, we're hopefully going to try to uh, beat our, our, our target of, uh, of completion so it's, it's not as long as wait for the people of Scarborough or the residents using the transit. But we're going to make sure that they're fully supported during that transition period. It might mm -hmm. be a little blip, but, uh, you know, you're looking down the road uh, for the next 50 years, Scarborough is going to have the first uh, three stop for the subway and, you know, the future uh, opens up for further expansion. But uh, we're going to make sure they're supported. So I'm going to push this a little bit more. Mm -hmm. In what way are we looking at supports? Are we looking at other other modes of transit go, f serving that in, in that interim period? What are we looking at? Well, uh, Metrolinx, of course, uh, will work with the City of Toronto to come up with what's the best plan forward for that that area, respecting uh, the taxpayers' dollars, but at the same time ensuring the residents, uh, uh, the, the commuters, uh, have opportunity to uh, to use the transit system and and aren't uh, shortchanged. I right. think uh, the people of Scarborough have been shortchanged for quite a long time now, and it's a great announcement today it's a historic announcement that we're going to actually build the three-stop subway system mm -hmm. for them but we want to make sure we get them there right okay let's move on to another question so Bruce is asking how effective a subway stop will be at Ontario place he says it's usually empty for most of the year and he's wondering if your office has done any any research into the kind of ridership that's gonna happen there ridership numbers Certainly. I mean, we, we've done our, our, our due diligence on the, the respect of uh, the Ontario line, which is taking the spine of, of the relief line the city is putting forward. But then, we, of course, we expanded the Science Centre yes. and, and then down to Ontario Place. And, and, you know, people will utilize that also for soccer games uh, at Exhibition Place MLS. Mm -hmm. um, but, uh, you know, we have great plans coming forward for Ontario Place. I, it's not my ministry, but I know right. they're working with the City of Toronto to... Uh, to make sure that that's a tourist destination at the end of the day. Right, so this is looking forward to that and planning for that then. Our plans are for the next 50 years for transit uh, of, of Toronto uh, and GTHA as a whole. So uh, we're looking, we're forward thinking on this. Right. Um, okay, next question. Let's see. Jason says the relief line is supposed to ease the congestion, congestion on line one. However, but it is not being integrated with the current infrastructure. Um, it's going to make commuters frustrated uh, and overcrowd the new line. So what measures are there to combat that? Well, certainly. I mean, it's a standalone line as it is because that's going to help us deliver uh, the the Ontario line now uh, quicker right. at a cheaper price using the different technologies to build that that road. But it will be connected uh, at the uh, the Young and Osgood line uh, in order for you to to move up to the uh, the line one uh, or line two. Um, but what what we're saying here is just much like when you go to the Bluer station, you have to get off the train and go up some stairs or, mm -hmm. or to connect to uh, the other line. It'll be the same idea with regards to uh, the the Ontario line and the and the and the line one. So the idea is to minimize the um, sort of overlap. Well, certainly, and, and that's the key with the upload we're undergoing with the City of Toronto. As it progresses and, uh, and, and it comes to fruition, we hope at the end of the day, uh, if, the, if the province uploads the ownership uh, of, of the lines, it'll be a much easier transition from the Ontario line to the subway system. Okay, thank you so much for joining us, Mr. Yurik. That was our okay. last question for now. Uh, we'll have the Minister's answers to your questions, as well as this entire chat, uh, chat up on our website, citynews.ca, later tonight. Uh, we have the Minister here for a little bit. You can put in your questions right now on citynews.ca. Your second hour of City News starts right now.